Essential Dad here for another video. It has been quite a while um, with work and family matters. I had to step away from doing videos. It's not what I wanted to do, but I had to do it. But um, I'm back again. It's uh, May 19th, 2023, and I'm ready to get rolling on uh, my channel and bring you some new uh, information, gear reviews, and hopefully everyone finds it um, interesting. Anyway, today um, I'm out in my garden. I'm going to do a little video on my garden, show you what I have going on. Uh, I'm really excited about my new potato stands or my potato buckets. I started them last year. I tried a few. I had roughly a dozen. And the yield was actually very, very impressive. I done them in my garden previously and I found the soil was not um, it did not give a good root base and it did not allow for, for the potatoes to actually form off the tubers and so um, I didn't get as many as of what I wanted then I found out about potato buckets and um, last year when I done I found the soil to be really loose in the bucket and so it allowed the potatoes to form off the tubers and it really uh, appealed to me because my backyard's built off of old construction uh, material, especially here in the city. You get the subdivisions, and the soil or topsoil is very shallow, and most of it is just backfill from when they um, built the homes and subdivisions. They just pushed it over with the dozer, and it's just horrible ground to uh, plant and have a garden in. So, for anyone uh, that lives in an apartment and has a patio or you have a small condo, uh, maybe a smaller backyard, uh, going with buckets and making stands is a great way to uh, grow your vegetables in because you can essentially grow anything you want in buckets and it doesn't. you don't need the uh, yard space to do it. So today I'm going to show you um, how I done my potatoes. These buckets, as I said, come from uh, a grocery store. They're free. Most grocery stores throw these buckets out. They're used to hold oil for uh, the deep fryers, for their uh, uh, french fries, onion rings, that sort of stuff. But they throw out the buckets. And so think of um, your local stores and how many hundreds, if not thousands of these they throw out every year. You can go there and ask them if they have any buckets, these are all food grade, and this is a great way to get buckets for uh, a garden. And it also prevents that from going to uh, the uh, garbage or uh, trash. Um, these buckets, as you can see, I drilled several holes in the bottom. You need good drainage to uh, drain the water off of them. That way, when it rains, it doesn't drown the uh, tubers and rot out the seed or potatoes. You need drainage in the bottom of the bucket. Some people put uh, wood shavings in the bottom. That way it also uh, drains uh, the water off. You can do that. Some use very fine pibbles in the bottom. That way it uh, drains the water off. I found with mine last year by mid-July, August, it was so dry that um, I needed the soil to hold the moisture in it because it was so dry and hot I didn't have the moisture uh, to keep the potatoes alive without watering them every day using the garden hose and so I just use a mixture of triple mix peat moss sheet manure um, soil which I just buy from uh, the garden center and I mix it together and this is what I have in my garden beds and I continue to use that as well, every year uh, during the fall and winter, I take all my scrap uh, produce, vegetables and fruit, and I'll throw it out into a pile in my garden somewhere, and I'll let it sit there and it'll rot up and it'll decompose and go back into my garden. So all of my scrap waste uh, from the greens I eat or fruit and vegetables I eat goes directly back into uh, the garden and I create my own compost. So I have a very good um, source of nutrients for my garden and my uh, potato buckets. As well, 
I use uh, grass clippings to help uh, keep the sun off the soil and it uh, as they're just growing and it holds the moisture into uh, the buckets as well. It keeps uh, the sun from drying out the tops. After I fill up my buckets to fill up the soil on the tubers, it also gives um, compost or food to the tubers as they mature and grow for the rest of the summer. So my grass clipping serve as, serves as two um, things, actually three things, let me correct that. Any late frost in May, my grass clippings, and I don't overfill them, but it also protects it from the frost because the grass clippings is like hay. It protects your uh, tubers or your crop from the frost. All right, here's my garden plot. I tried something totally different this year. It's been four years since I started my garden. I have done raised beds. Uh, we are, are on a slope, so when it rains, everything runs downhill this way. And I didn't want the water to run off my garden as previously, or pool in different areas, so I done the raised garden beds. That way I'll hold the water inside and I'll give it more soil for the roots to grow. Also, it actually gives me more growing space where I have two or three rows per garden box, depending on what I grow. So, listen here, I got two rows of tomatoes growing, which would have taken two rows in my garden. The next one's beets, so I get that planted a lot more closely. But I get three rows in there, which would have taken up two or three rows across the garden if I'd done it just in mounds. Then I get my yellow beans and both of those boxes down at the far end. Those are two rows uh, back to back so I get four rows of beans and it takes up less spot. My buckets in behind are filled with carrots and in those I got 14 uh, carrots or seeds that I'll be able to grow once I thin them out because I did plant them quite heavily which uh, I'm going to have to thin out the uh, smaller ones and keep the bigger ones. So, second week of April, we had a warm spell. Me and my daughter came out and we made these potato stands. I get the buckets uh, from where I work. They're from a local uh, grocery store. They use them in the deep fryer section where they roast the chickens and uh, taters. And all these buckets they were going to throw out. And so anyone who's looking to uh, grow a garden in buckets or raise bids, go to your local grocery store and see if they have any buckets that they're going to get rid of. Because these are all food grade buckets and they're going to be tossed out anyhow. So all these buckets are free. I got over 50 of them, which we're going to be uh, throwing out in the landfill. And they give them to me for free. So after I made the uh, potato stands and I had the buckets, I get the covers over here to the side. On colder nights, I can cover up the buckets so it acts like a greenhouse and it keeps my plants warm so the frost doesn't uh, bother them. But the second week of April, I was already planting my potatoes. And we had a warm spell in April. And so I took the chance to plant them, knowing that we were potentially gonna have frost even afterwards. Here we are, May 19th, and here are my potatoes. Right now, it is May 19th, 2023, so this year's potatoes, and they are weeks ahead of where they should be. And we have had frost since then, but it does not seem to be bothering my uh, potatoes. I put some grass clippings in here from cutting the gra uh, grass. That will uh, decompose and go into the soil and feed the potato plants. Now some of these plants are not ready to be mounded, but these tubers here I can mound up just an inch below the uh, top of the bucket. And you want to mound them up, that way it gives the tubers a lot more uh, growing space and they can feed off of it. 
here's my second batch of potatoes. As you can see, I got uh, the stands are eight feet long, two feet wide. Each hold uh, 16 buckets. I get 32 buckets, and I get 82 uh, potato or tubers in the buckets. So I'll have 82 plants. I done my potatoes this way as it takes up less room. Uh, it really heats up the roots. It holds a good amount of moisture in them. And uh, the yield I had last year was a lot better than when I done them in the garden. Because this year gives uh, the potatoes nice loose soil to grow. Where I live in the city, what has happened with the subdivisions, all this lawn is only about 8 to 10 inches of topsoil. Everything below it is backfill with rocks, bricks, concrete, building material when they just bulldozed it and landscaped the uh, backyards. The fill in cities and subdivisions is horrible for growing. And that's why my first year when I planted the garden, I did not have a good yield. It did not produce well. Since then, I brought in soil, manure, and every year I throw out my ash from my fireplace as well as uh, vegetable bits I'll throw into my garden and when I till it up in the spring it provides all new nu nutrients and food for my plants so I'm really excited about this year because I believe this is going to be again probably the best crop than the previous year and I've been saying that year after year each year seems to get better as I go along so here's my seed potatoes they're norland uh, red potatoes uh, very high yield these are my leftovers as you can see us i'll get some uh, seed potatoes here with the tubers coming off them i have my five gallon bucket here with my holes already drilled in it now i'm going to put three to four inches of soil in the bottom as you can see, I put roughly three to four inches, maybe a little bit more, of nice dark compost and soil into the bottom of my bucket. I am now going to take my tubers. I'm just going to put them in. I'll put three in this bucket. Some of mine have two, some of mine have three. There's no, you don't want more than three, I would say, in a bucket. If you had a bigger uh, container, you can put more in, uh, like the rubber, uh, rubber made containers, such as that one. You can put four to five in there, and it will give enough uh, room for your potatoes to grow. In your five gallon, though, you only want two or three tubers. Now that I have those in there at that depth, I'm going to take another shovelful of soil, maybe another one. Sorry about my shaking. It's only one hand I'm doing this with. And I'm just going to cover the tops of those just like that. And it's just half full. My bucket is just half full. And this bucket is prepared with my tubers. Now, with the uh, tubers already forming on those uh, seeds, they will be popping up out underneath the uh, soil there within probably a week. These have been growing for three and a half weeks. And this is how big they are just in three and a half weeks. As you can see, some of them are just popping up. But I get potatoes in every single bucket I have. This one here is what I mean by mounding. This is what you do by mounding your potatoes. And you fill it up just about an inch to the top of the bucket. This one here I won't do because I do have another potato plant in here. I'll wait until it gets almost to the top of my bucket 
and then I'll mount my potatoes. And then that's it. I won't add any more soil to it, and I'll let those grow. And I'm going to mound my potatoes, every bucket here I have, the same way as I've done this one here. Now we just have to wait and see how they uh, grow and turn out. Any questions about uh, using buckets for uh, growing specific um, vegetables in or crops or potatoes, send me a message. Any ideas, if you have done it yourself, give me some pointers. Um, this is my second year doing it. The stands uh, are nice. I'll, the stands uh, use a 2x4. It took roughly 12 2x4s to make them. They're 8 feet uh, long, not so full lengths. Um, they're 2 feet wide. But you can paint them uh, whatever color you want. It keeps everything up off the ground so you don't have any uh, bare spots underneath the ground. It doesn't kill the grass. They look nice. It keeps animals out of them. For the most part, squirrels do climb in, but they haven't been bothering the potatoes. But overall, they look quite nice, quite pleasing to the eye. So it's a great idea if you have a small backyard or a uh, small space, even on a patio or a condo patio. You, you can grow um, some of your own food without much room. I will keep you posted on how my carrots are doing because I know that people have done carrots, they have done turnip, uh, cucumber, everything. You can grow essentially everything you want in five gallon buckets. But remember, go to the grocery stores and you can get your buckets for free. Instead of paying three or four dollars at a hardware store, you can buy food grade buckets and you know it's food grade buckets from your grocery stores and it keeps it out of the landfill. That's a really good way to get free buckets. Anyway, I hope you're having a great spring so far, leading into summer. I hope you're out gardening, and I'm gonna be doing more videos. Um, metal detecting is probably gonna be my next one. I'm gonna be doing gear reviews, and you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me now that things have calmed down, and I hope you enjoy that. Anyway, this is Essential Dad. Take care, and I'll see you next time.